Okay, we have been um, messing around with my ferro cells and stuff. Um, I've taken a couple of people's advice. I now have my magnet on a pulley, which I'm going to drop into there. I've put a tube in there so that we can see a bit more, hopefully. And then I won't actually have to be messing around holding the camera. So there's nothing in there. That's just a piece of cardboard, an old photo of somebody. Right, let's turn off the lights. Just gotta get this right, I don't know. Okay. And there is the shift right there one side to the other that <laughs> is energy moving through a magnet from one side to the other as the field flips I'll probably put in a couple of uh, pictures of mine from planets and all sorts of things showing the figure eight crossing there. So we come down, field comes into the center, wraps around the center, and out to the other side. And there we go. So absolute proof that that field crosses the inertial line and wraps around it and then flares out the other side. Boom, boom, boom. So right there. Okay, I'm going to put the phone down. The phone? Yeah, the phone. I'm going to put the phone down and I'm going to move this over. Oh, it's too long. Here we go, field to the other side. Oh, magnet's just tipped. Hang on. Oh, it's because it's getting pulled to the side. There we go. Okay. Because it's the sides of this are metal. There it goes, going and across and out. Across and down across and up. Sorry, that's down. And then up. That's the field going downwards. Field comes in, goes across the inertia line and out the other side. And down. Oh, I oh, just stuck myself at the bottom. Nope, we're good. Three. So here it comes. Into the inertia field, across the other side and out. Okay, now that I've shown that it's nothing to do with uh, the uh, that it's nothing to do with the metal I had. That is the inertia point crossover right there and down. So that's all coming into the inertia line now, and then boom out the other side. Coming in. And boom, across. That is the inertia line crossover. All right, now I'm going to show you something else. Whee. 
bit more of the same, but different. Okay. Now I'm going to have to take this out. Right. What I've got here is a magnet. And let's have a look at the inertia line here. So, we can see the inertia line there. But see, the thing is, you can't get close enough with one of these kind of magnets on the surface to see what's going on. But you see this one? Now that's an inline inertia, okay? So I'm not changing any field here. What's about to happen here is exactly what you just saw here, okay? But now I can drop it in the hole. Trying to get it in focus because it truly is very really sweet. Oh, can you see that? That figure eight. Oh, all the filaments right there. See, right there. Look at that. It's all going into the inertia line. But oh, if only you could see that. I'm going to try and move it into the big light again. The red light. Oh, that's just so sweet. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Oh, the clarity that I've got is amazing. But... You see it? See that there? Yeah. Comes right in. Oh, I think it'd be better. For new focus. Oh, come on. <sighs> Can't seem to focus. Oh, there's a figure eight right there. It's quite incredible. Come on, something to focus. So right there is where all that crosses. Look at the colours. actually goes inwards there. Yeah, you've never seen anything like it in your life. It's funny if you get it in focus. This is why I'm asking for donations so I can get like a real camera. See them two black lines? There you go. Right in between it. All them lines sh shooting out from the middle. Oh my gosh, it's so obvious right there. Let's try looking at it from another view. There, perfect. Oh. See that? Right in there? All of that bends in and then flips. Sorry, all of it's going in. All of this from one side and all of this from the other to go around. There it is, see it? Look at that. But of course, you'd have to have one of these halo halo plates, as I've called them. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm seeing is just incredible. See, that's going in there. Oh, oh, where are you? There we go. Look at that.
give it a second to warm up. See, ya? see that? All going into the inertia line. In there. It's that little point, like a little top hat, like a crown, in fact. That's like a king's crown. Because that's what God is all about, obviously. Light and energy. So yes, this is not a magnetic field. This is an energy Ouroboros Taurus field, which comes in as a vortex and goes out as a flower of life, which I will show you is directed energy flow. So yeah, after three days, I think we've got something quite special again. So yeah, that's where it is, because there's the inertia line. Just get this set. Inertia line, straight down the middle, right there. You see that? And the closer you get in, the more that you see that it goes into the centre. Look at that. That's just beautiful. That's where they two difference. But it's all going into the centre there, right in the middle, right that line. So yes, if you think what I'm doing should be done a lot better, um, please think about donating to this ministry, where I show that God is energy, and that energy moves through everything in a double helix to an Ouroboros wave and back to a double helix flare in everything and I've shown it in everything and now finally the last little piece of the puzzle I have shown it in magnetism because God told me it was going to be there and there it is and if you had yourself a halo wave plate a halo plate you too would be able to see the inside of a magnet and you would just be able to see that going in see that there that's it there. So yeah, this is quite incredible. But yeah, you can see it. There you go. Look at that. Right there, going in. Look at that. It looks like an embryo egg. So yeah, inertia line crossover point and into the inertia line. Boom, like a heart because it is a heart shape. Exactly the same as everything I've been drawing. All my little swirls have turned out to be absolutely correct. But that's just fantastic. So, thanks very much. God gave me this in visions and told me to go and show it to everybody else. And that's what I've been doing. So there is our inertia line crossover, which is a figure eight. And uh, I'm sure I've put some pictures up. All right, I'm going to play a bit more and maybe show you some other things tomorrow. That's what you call something really cool. So yeah, inertia line, inertia line going in. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a figure eight. That's a gap. And it goes in. And everything flips and changes. You see the two different fields. One is round, one is doing slightly something else. I'm going to interject here. The one at the bottom is looping over the top, and the one at the top of the screen is looping but underneath. What Opposite rotations. But I'm sure it'll come <laughs> So I wasn't Thanks sure, but looking at it now, yeah. Look, one's up and over, and one's under and, and up. This is just fantastic. I follow the Christ Jesus and his teachings yeah. and his commandments, and he showed me all this in visions in 2014 for three weeks, day and night. So I knew exactly what I was looking for. So thank you brothers and sisters for your donations, more would be welcome because I'd like to refine this so I can get something really good. This is just not as good a ferrofluid as I would like but I have proven the point and you guys have helped me. Thank you very much, couldn't have done it without you. See look there's beams going across that yellow as well and I want to be able to pick them up because I'm so close to the field. That's beautiful. Thanks again. Thanks to God, and this is the halo plate.